everybody and uh, welcome to today's diamond painting show in today's show we are going to be talking about our preferred tools and the difference between block coloring and confetti so i will introduce our other host Here's Penny. Hello, everybody. So, do you like my new channel name? I love it. So, big thank you to Mark's Mods for helping me with the graphics. I really, really appreciate that. I can't thank him enough. So, yeah. how did that go for you then, Mrs. Crafter? <laughs> that was very, very nerve-wracking. Yeah, yeah we're, was... we're both still very nervous, but um, we're, yeah. we're, we're relaxing. By the time we get to, I don't know, show 121, yeah. I think we'll be all right. Yes. So. My stomach's turning nuts, I can't tell you. Don't worry about it, because um, I think we, we have audience members who would tell us if, they, if we were not very good, and no one's told us it was terrible, so we no. can't be doing too bad a job. No. Um, so we have one comment. Um, also, sorry, I forgot to add this is we are trying out a dual stream um and i can already see names that i don't recognize so i'm assuming they're coming from yorkshire crafters channel um which is fantastic so we're actually doing a dual stream this is going on my channel and yorkshire crafters channel both simultaneously um because obviously we both have subscribers that don't subscribe you know they subscribe to one channel or the other so we're just trying to sort of get this out to a bigger audience um, so we have a, a long lost friend of mine, Harvey De Niro. Hi, Penny, long time no see. You've changed your channel name. No wonder I could not find you. Um, I think you can. I think if you search, so I was doing it last week. If you search paint with Penny, it still comes up with my videos. Um, but mainly because I put paint with Penny in my tags. And for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be putting Penelope's Pit Stop and paint with Penny in my tags just so that there's a bit of a, a crossover. Um, so we have a name that I don't recognize. Very happy to see you. Diamond Painting with Nicole M. She says hi. Hello. And we have Queen of Diamonds Rosebud. Yeah. I think I've seen that name before. Um, yeah. She says, hello, Penny and Julie. Hope you're both well. We are now. With comments yeah. like that, we are over the moon yeah um so right shall we make a start so the first thing we want to bring up or you want to bring up as well was our equipment yes um so obviously with the first two shows we've started off with the, with the painting that we got from amazon and that's all we used um we've well i've built up to um to these very basic uh drill storage um boxes obviously this too many for one so i've had to get two um how are you storing your your drills um still in these uh little containers right um put them into containers are they the tic tac ones yeah 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 see i use i do actually use the tic tac ones and i i love them i know some people don't like them because they don't close sometimes they cut they pop open a little bit um having said that obviously i am actually a higher level than i'm we're going for this show with um if that makes sense um and i'm planning on doing lots of customs which means i need larger amounts of each color so i'm actually going with these big pots um but that's not relevant to these shows because obviously we'll get what we need and and these small ones that they fit into a tiny square um so obviously we're talking about preferred methods and, and actual methods but obviously you, you need to go with the methods that work for you um if you are filthy rich which i'm not you can go for these a little what the elizabeth ward ones yeah. we've shown them twice before and they're these really good containers and they really are superb um but you only get, uh, I think they're like 50 odd quid. Um, although I hear there's a version on AliExpress. Um, yes. I forget what it's had to pronounce it now. Who, who, who are calm? Who are calm? Some, something like that. 
and they're basically it's only a matter of time something good really good comes out the chinese copy it um so yeah that's come out so what else do you use right so first of all this is my diamond painting pen and right. i bought it off a company on facebook oh, for the life of me i've forgotten oh. <laughs> oh i had it on the tip of my tongue and now it's gone well stick your tongue out let's have a look <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if it comes to you, pop it in the comments. I will. And uh, I might remember to ed ed edit the um, the description later on. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, is that one of those resin hand-turned polished ones then? Yeah. yeah I've, I've seen a lot about them. I know Rachel Ray goes on about hers and how she loves it. And But Rich the colours look... Who? Rich Craft on first. Rich Craft. Yeah. Right, let me just write that into the comment. Um, Rich, is that one word or two? Two. Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So I've um, the way that StreamYard works, because I've selected both channels, it actually looks like Yorkshire Craft has written it on uh, her channel, but that was me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But obviously, if you're watching both channels, which I doubt anybody is, because that would just be a waste of bandwidth, you would see the same comment came up. But I'm probably over explaining it. Um, right. So Sorry, my I pen commented. is not. Yeah. Do you want to catch up on the comments? Yeah. So we have Christine Say. Hi, Julian Hi. Penny. Yeah. We have Harvey De Niro again. Glad to see you all. OK. And again. Hi, Crafter. Hello. <laughs> um, now I'm going to make a hash of this. Danielle Bordero, Bordero, Bordero. I'm yes. really sorry if I got that wrong. I, I I made the effort, but I don't always get it right. But she says, I'm going to guess you're American because you've said good morning, y'all. Good morning, like y'all. I, you know, I, I, it's funny. I don't like that, but when an American says it, it's fine because obviously it's. It's words I say coming from Norfolk that annoy the hell out of people. Um, yeah, but if I if I hear a non-American say it, I'm just like, shut up. Um, <laughs> so Mark's mods beat us to it and said witchcraft. Yeah. And then obviously me pretending to be Yorkshire Crafter has said witchcraft on Facebook. And then me pretending to be me has said it on my channel as well. Yeah. So my pen's a little bit different. I absolutely love it, but it's not without its problems. And that is pick me up. And the way that this works, instead of having wax in it, it has a big reservoir of, it originally comes with some kind of tack, but mine's run out and I've refilled it with blue tack. And I don't know if you can see, there's a screw thread there with a little plunger. And then yeah. what you do is you screw it, and you just screw it a little tiny bit more. In fact, let's, let's go for it. If you screw it, there you go, the blue tack comes out the end. Yes. And that's what your little sticky bit is. And now I've got a set that takes me ages to sort this out. <laughs> because the blue tack comes out slowly. So because it's really thick and hard, if you squeeze it too much, it just keeps coming out. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. Um. But I say it's not without its problems. Um, another term I've learned here, ghost drilling. Um, oh, hang on a sec. I told you my phone would go off, didn't I? You did. You did. The dark side. Oh. That was actually work, but um, I love modern mobile phones where you can set special ringtones for people. So I have a special ringtone for work. And it's actually Darth Vader saying, um, beware, the dark side is calling, which I thought was quite appropriate for my boss. Uh, anyway, he's being ignored for this next hour. Um, no, I'll ring him back after the stream. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. So we've got, yeah, so ghost drilling. Um, when you pick go to pick up a drill and you think you've picked a drill up, but you actually haven't, you then, because you're doing everything in one motion, you then touch the sticky canvas 
with the blue tack and you end up with a nice little bit of mozzarella cheese go um so that is the problem with blue tack um and because this has got quite a wide nib you can actually even if you look at it you can't always tell if you've picked the drill up um but it's an endless supply this i think last time i was i was I was doing diamond painting every spare second I had for about three weeks and it lasted a good three weeks. Um, so that's why I like it. No fiddling around with the wax. And, and I know this pink wax isn't as good as I've heard paddy wax. Um, and diamond pipe. So I'm going to skip a few comments. Um, Queen of diamonds, rosebud. says I love the pick me up. On the other end is a sharp point that come out to reveal a tiny straightener. Uh, yeah, that was, I didn't quite get that far, but yeah, it's a little straightener there. Um, yeah. Although I will be honest with you, I might spark the tweezers for, for drilling or picking up the bait, but I use the tweezers. Um, I, I do, if, if it hasn't quite gone in straight and I can't manipulate it, I will grab the tweezers and I will pull the whole diamond out and I will just go for it again. Um, I know some people diamond paint with tweezers, which yeah. I've not done it myself. And I find it slightly odd. Doesn't mean that they're wrong and I'm right. Um, but I found the method I like. You found the method you like. Yeah. And that's the method for us, which obviously brings us on to tweezers, doesn't it? Because there is an alternative method of diamond painting. Um, you will please forgive me for the background from next week. I'm, I, I, I shouldn't be buying things now. I'm actually doing a, a house move. I'm where I am now from next week. I'm going to be moving in here permanently. Um, and I really need the money for things like van hire and and petrol and and all the all the bad things that go with moving and yes it's extremely stressful far more than i thought um and i've just spent money on a green uh, makeshift green screen um i'm very much oh that's expensive i can make that cheaper kind of a person um and i found a green screen well actually a uh, build with adrian family a really nice green screen but it's like 70 80 pounds so uh, we had a little look around and I've now found a clothes rail for £12, a bed sheet for £7 and some, some clamps. So I've saved about 50 quid. Um, <laughs> so I'll just pick up on the comments. Um, Queen of Diamonds Rose Butter said, be, be right back, which is obviously an old message because she has come back. Um, Steve Owen says, hello, thumbs up. Hi, Steve Owen. Um, Bill with Adrian. Hi, all. I am on Julie. Um, we, we know what you mean, Adrian. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Love Mini says morning all, and it really is morning for Love Minis because I know she's about six hours behind the UK, so it must be round about six in the morning. No. Um, oh, Build of Adrian says, and on Penny. So again, we know what you mean. Um, yeah, and that's the comments. So yeah, some people use tweezers for actually diamond painting. I'm trying to get a point where you can see it. Window, there you go. Um, I use them just for adjusting drills. Um, if I've placed a drill inside a, uh, if you've got the surrounding bits done, um, you know, all eight sides, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, eight, all eight sides, then this will dig in and pick it up. Um, sometimes I'll just move it. Because um, also what doesn't help is I'm a, I'm a, how do you how do you phrase it i'm a heavy stabber i'm like bang so yeah. to readjust the, sometimes you can readjust the drills with with your pick me up or your your diamond painting pen because i've stabbed them in so hard it's a lot harder so tweezers um now i've moaned last week about the tweezers that came with the diamond painting kit didn't i um i've got to be honest with you i hate these these are absolutely awful. Um, you can't pick anything up with them. Um, so they do do the job. Um, but I use these tweezers. Um, and these are, ironically, they come with... Funnily enough, these came with a cheap diamond painting kit. Yeah. Not an expensive one. 
which I find odd. You would think if it was cheap, everything would be cheap. But these actually, I cannot remember which ones they came with. You know, I'm trying to manipulate myself. and Because I'm backwards on the screen. Left isn't left anymore, is it? No. So, um, I'm really sorry. Um, so what tweezers do you use? Have you bought tweezers or do you use a, a set that came with a kit? I or do you use them? I just use um, the tweezers just like you, just to adjust them. And it's the uh, pointed ones from the Huacan kit like what you've got right yeah and i think the last bit is the tray um this is a tray you get um i know there's different types of tray but these seem to be the most common ones the white the, these are called boats white boat with a spout green one without a spout i've got a white one without a spout and I've seen various others. I quite like the look of the one with the spout on the corner. So it kind of goes out like that. And yeah. if you own a 3D printer, there is quite a lot out there on a, on a site I use a lot called Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a re re reposit repository for files. You download the file, you put it into your 3D printer, and you print it off and you have a fancy boat and i know there's a lady selling selling them on ebay um she's been sending out samples to some of the bigger diamond painters and it seems to be getting really really good reviews um it's, it, it comes with a little scraper the the lines in there are a little bit deeper um the corner it's got a little post in it so it's not so um so flimsy and there's a little plug so they don't go flying everywhere um but what i've done is i've got two boats cut the top off glued it onto the top and i've ended up with that yeah and that works really really well for me um the only drawback is especially with me using the pick me up which is blue tack if i've got any blue tack on the actual drill sometimes the drills get stuck in the bottom because there's a cover there i don't notice then what happens is i put my next color in then when i put those away when i finished all the old color goes into the pot and the next time i go to use that color i'm like why is there reds mixed in with my blues and not the odd drill it's like maybe 10 or 20 of them so then i have to pick them all out and figure out what color they are or waste them so um so tray wise what do you use i use the big boat the big oh that's a big boat isn't yeah. it how many of my boats could you fit into that boat um, two and a half three oh, that's a good one yeah I've so got, uh, a transfer on the back of it that I got from the lovely uh, Elizabeth Inslee. I uh, won a competition. Okay. Uh, I must enter comp. Mind you, I don't enter competitions because I never win. But then I don't well, don't win them because I don't enter them. So it's a catch twenty two, isn't it? Yeah. I, I get really disappointed when I don't win. So I just in the end, I, there's no point me entering. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to enter. So. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and is there anything you can think of that I haven't mentioned? Obviously, we've got we we introduced the light pad last week, so this is yeah. my light pad, um, uh, and I I do own a larger light pad. Um, dare I bring it into shot? <laughs> so this is my larger one. Wow. Um, which it actually acts quite nicely as as a clean board for my clean builds. So when I'm building models that are you know not not painting, for example, because paint gets all over the place. Um yeah. but it's a nice plain white board that I can put parts on. Um because obviously as you know I don't do just diamond painting on my channel. Um so yeah, that's but just out of interest, as anybody who watched last week, did you try the app for the light pad 
And did you feel that a light pad is or is not for you? Um, I know I've seen on Facebook groups, there's a lot of people who don't use a light, will not use a light pad. And for me, it was a, to, to advise a light pad now becomes a sensitive subject because I know if someone told me I need to go out and buy a light pad and then I went out and spent my hard earned cash on that light pad and then thought, actually, I'm better off without one. I would feel a little bit aggrieved that someone's advised me. So I wanted to make it really, really clear that you want to make sure you, 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 it is better for you, which is why I advise the app. Um, because if you feel the light pad's not no good for you, just delete the app off your phone. So I would be interested to know if anyone has, has either bought a light pad or decided that they don't need one based on the, the advice of the app. Um, so are you a light pad you're not a light pad are you i am yeah you are I'm, okay yeah i've just put my well i put mine on on one yesterday so you've probably got one size of the house haven't you i've got an a4 and i've got an a3 but my a3 has got another project on it right so how do you feel about multi-projecting having two or three projects on the go i i usually don't Right. Um, I just usually have uh, one diamond painting and then an, another another craft, right? Maybe like or something, but I don't I don't like to have more than one diamond painting at a time. Because when when I first started, I had two on the go, one round and one square, and um, the the box that I used to keep my little tic tacs in, I was getting in a little bit of a muddle. Um, so I decided I'm not going to do two. Um, and then I started on my big wolf, which I, I there's nothing to see anyway. I've only done the corner. And then obviously I'm now working on this because of the show. You see, I've done my homework. I've done my yes. four squares. In the end, I actually decided to go against how I go. And I just thought I'll do a strip. And then I'll, I just think for, for showing you guys, it's easier that way. Um, but I'm in a slight muddle as a result of doing it this way um so i'm i'm having to create a box this box here contains only the diamond painting from um for the show picture and then i've yeah. got another box for my wolf and then i put one one completely away and bring this one out and when this is finished with that will get put well away and the other one will come out and that's eased it a little bit um yeah. but again interested to know how do you guys feel um i imagine there's an argument in favor of especially if you're doing two uh, a large one if you do um two because maybe you get a bit bored uh, not bored but um a bit mind numbing doing the same one same one same one let's have yeah. a break let's work on this one um yeah. so daniel may i just call you danielle to save my embarrassment um but she says i love my light pad and she's gone to the trouble of doing a heart rather than just saying right so she must really love her light pad and she also says i have two diamond paintings one square one round and cross stitching um i don't do cross stitching anymore i used to many many years ago um i used to work um God, you're going to think I'm an awful worker. Um, I used to do nights in a care home uh, or residential home where once I'd done all the tasks at the beginning of the shift, my main job for about six or seven hours is just sitting there on standby should anything happen. So obviously you didn't want the telly on. I'm not into telly anyway, um, but obviously you don't want the TV on because it, you run the risk of waking people up. Plus it's noise that drowns out happenings you know if you're in the front room with your tv on and someone falls out of bed you may not hear them so you need the quiet and um someone introduced me to cross stitching and you can get really you can kill a lot of time with that can't you quite easily um yeah. it's also very good if you're a smoker um because i find that you can just work on a little bit and then all of a sudden you're like well i've not had a cigarette in four hours um, so you find yourself smoking a lot less. Um, 
so um also i don't really like round round um diamond paintings as much as a personal preference um i prefer the squares but squares also are harder because if you don't get them lined up quite right they can look a little bit funny whereas a round one you can put in at any angle so long as you get it within get it in the right position but it can be if it's tilted 20 degrees it's still the same isn't it um yeah. so ah oh, we have see now we have crossovers from other shows which is fantastic so tony yeah. Evans says, hi penny hi julie uh cheryl is watching your show at home i'm waiting i'm awaiting my bus at work and thought i'd tune in till it arrives now i believe cheryl did an absolutely amazing diamond painting of a bus i actually bought it as well and what they've done is they kind of black and whited out the background but kept the bus red so it makes it more of a focal point but it actually doesn't be, although they've black and whitened the background it actually seems to enhance it rather than pushes it out of focus and it looks really really nice yeah. um yeah cheryl did a great job she did really well yeah there. yeah i mean i could show you but all i can do is show you a, a, a canvas so um i i won't i mean over the course of time i'll have videos on my channel right so danielle has said it's okay it's boudreaux boudreaux right i will try to remember that i'm i must be getting old because i'm not good at remembering things but believe me i will be making an effort um and then danielle boudreaux says that she prefers the squares and i think it's okay to have a preference um yes. so yeah so um anything else before we go on to the next bit uh there is another but um I don't know people aren't using them as much now because at one time there was a problem with drills that stuck together you know in the, right. in the packets yes yes the grinder which by coincidence i happen to own right can i leave you on full screen for a sec i need about 20 seconds um, I am sorting stuff out for the move, so I'll, but I know where it is. Just bear with me one sec. <laughs> She's got to go hunt it down now. Um, but yeah, just a, a reminder of the container that I use out of the um, off-brand Elizabeth Ward containers, and I've just got them all stacked up ready. I've got some in a box tub and then some more stacked up in there so yeah that's just basically how i've kitted up this time so yeah right herb uh, sorry diamond painting grinder um so what we have is this um not to be confused with if your teenage son has one in his bedroom don't think oh he's doing a lovely craft um so what it basically is, is a container with not really sharp spikes in. And then what we will do is, I'm going to pick one of these. Sometimes you get diamonds that are stuck together. That's not, I don't think that's a low quality drill. I think it's just where they come out of the, um, the, the process of making them obviously they're making so many they might just get a little bit stuck together um and all you do is you just pop a few in like that i'm trying my best here but i don't want to tip this over and then you yeah. pop the lid on and it will close because there's a couple of magnets in there and all you do is you just you can, i'm assuming you can hear the noises yeah i think that's quite a nice noise actually um i actually don't use it um because what i find when i put them into the i mean these are obviously all lovely separating there see now i've got to get these out 
and there's one stuck in there i 99 percent of the time if they're stuck together i'll just shake them so they're a little bit separated let me use the overhead camera it'd be a lot easier won't it um so if i come across any that are stuck together most of the time i can get away with just put my finger on them quite hard and then just drag them and yeah. that works for me now i have also men uh, heard mention i cannot genuinely can't remember who said it um but they said that their dad told them to put put them in a jar and put a nickel in or a coin obviously he's american so we'll put a nickel in and then give it a shake and yes, I know what you mean, yeah. I cannot for the life of me figure the science out on that one, but if it works, that's fine. And we all know old men or older men have all the best DIY tricks, don't they? Yes. Um, if you ever need to know anything, go and ask your granddad. He will have the answer. Um, <laughs> uh, Rosebud actually gives another uh, suggestion. You could always place another tray on top and squish them together. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I actually forgot. Um, so, yeah, what you do is you pop them into the tray and then you find another tray and then push them in. Obviously, you try and get the same tray, but push them in and then you yeah. can just do that and that works. Um, Christine Say says that she puts a tray on top. Um, yeah, Say, so I just use my finger. Um but yeah, if you smash them together, and because the, the two trays are the same size, the top one stops them from flying out everywhere. Um, yes. Now, yes. Queen of Diamonds Rosebud has said about the tea strainer to wash the static drills. Um, I've had this, so it's worth bringing up. Greasy drills. Have you ever had greasy drills? Yes. They are a bit of a nightmare, aren't they? Um, a lot of times you'll get them in a bag. Now, this, this, what these are okay, but if you shake them and you see how these flow fairly easily from one end of the bag to the other, so yeah. they're fine. If they don't, it's because they're greasy and they're sticking to the bag. And what you need to do is wash them with yeah. whatever you use to wash your dishes. Um, I think they call it different something different in America, but we call it washing up liquid. Is it dish soap you call it in America? Um, but whatever you use to wash your dishes, unless you put your dishes in a di dishwasher, don't put your drills in a dishwasher. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, and then all what, what I actually did, um, I didn't have a tea strainer. Um, so what I actually did was I got the bag. This is not the best way to do it, but it works. I got the bag and I put one drop of um, fairy liquid in there. I filled it up with water. I closed it. I then massaged them in. I then tipped most of the water out. I put uh, more water in, massaged them and did this probably about 10 times until obviously all the fairy liquid had been removed. And then I tipped them out onto uh, a piece of um, two pieces of kitchen roll. And then I just left them on and I put another piece of kitchen roll on the top and I brought them up to my bedroom and I left them there for, well, I left them for about three days because I went to work the next two days, but overnight would be fine. Um, yeah. And it is a bit of a nightmare. Um, and the last one that I have not really dealt with myself um, I have experienced it, and that's static in your drills. And I know that one of these pots that I have has bad static, and I can't remember which one it is. There we go. So you see that they're stuck to the bottom of the uh, the, the, the tub. Yeah. And that's because there's static in there. Now, I've heard mention, I've never actually done anything to solve it. Um, but I've heard tumble dryer sheets and I have gone out looking for, um, I assume you get them in America. Uh, Lenore do these unstoppables. 
there's these little balls that you just chuck in the tumble dryer um yeah. i've been looking for them but haven't found any apparently if you just pop one of those into into your bag or your tub um but yeah. perhaps try and get a different color two different colors so you don't put the same color in with your drills so you might try yeah. sticking unstoppables to your design um yeah. so again if anybody wants to um to disagree with that i'm we're always listening this is our show not mine and julie's show um yeah. so yeah so um yeah danielle let's like, see if i can remember this now without looking danielle bodro bodro i'm gonna look it up i'm determined to get this right um wow do you know uh, it is Boud boudro i'm so sorry it's boudro right i will get it and um, we had a chap on the uh root master show I think it took me about two or three months before I started to get his name right. Um, so that's that's the standard I'm looking for. Um, so, yeah, Love Minis is confirmed. It's called Dish Soap in America. Um, yeah. And, yeah, so she's also said the problem with them sticking must be the temperature of the diamonds when packed. Um, I would imagine that's... Um, these are produced in china they're out to make as much because i guess the profit margins aren't there because they're so much cheaper so they want to get them from the machine into into the bag bang so they're probably going to be at least warm by the time they're packed um so daniel boudreau says dish soap or dish liquid uh soap um love mini says you got help from a fairy complete change of subject when i was a kid um in english once we were given a picture and we were told to write a story based on the picture and i got given a picture of these fairies in a cave and i wrote about how this evil troll had captured all these fairies and it was and they they made them like through slave labor made them make um washing up liquid and that's how fairy liquid came about because it's actually made by enslaved fairies in the caves run by a troll um all sounds very silly now that i'm 40 odd years older but um love minis has done three attempts to spell fairy we all go like that don't we um so oh, yeah, yeah we so dan danielle boudreau says yes that's a pain too static we cut a piece so you cut a piece of dryer sheet do you know what I actually had visions of putting an entire dryer sheet into a tub that small. Um, so, yeah, so you'd cut them up, what, one centimetre squares, perhaps, smaller? Um, yeah. But I am I am on the lookout for them. Um, I, I, because of what's going on in the world at the moment and all the social distancing, I tend to avoid the big supermarkets because... I hate queues and my little local corner shop just does just about everything I need. Um, so I, I tend to go there and they don't have static sh uh, dryer sheets. Um, yeah. So yeah, I might go to Asda or something one day and, and do this all in the name of science. Um, right. So shall we look at, I know we brought it up before, but shall we look at block what we mean by block and what we mean by confetti yeah. and how I deal with it, how you may deal with it and how anyone else might deal with it. Yeah. Um, so may I steal the large screen then? Yeah, go for it. So I have, by coincidence, found a spot on my diamond painting that has both block and confetti and it just happens to be not the position i would go for next but it will be this one now i still maintain this is terrible painting um it's it's got a very thick canvas so the light pad doesn't work as well um and it's fuzzy on the symbols but we will manage as best we can so 
as you see, there's large areas, especially down here, going up to there, a patch there, and then all of these blue ticks where it's very much the same color. Um, and then as you get into the middle and coming in from the above square, so let me just move that. You can see that there's not many of the same color. So this is known as block. And then all these small areas are known as confetti. So confetti as in what you throw over newlyweds, lots and lots of small pieces. And then obviously these are block. So we have, we have tackled blocks before, but I'd like to do it again. Um, obviously, the bottom line is that you do your diamond painting however you want. Um, I have seen people do the entire diamond painting in the first color. And then they go over it again in the second color and then the third one and they work their way down until they've done all of the colors. And that is absolutely fine if that's how they want to do their painting. Um, but I like to try and work on colors, one color at a time uh, within a small block. And I always find that I will always miss drills out um, where... Um, I will think I've got all of them and then I'm, I miss, I've missed one and then I'll come back later and I'll discover which one I've missed. Um, now the first color that I always tackle is the color that comes to mind, uh, the one that sticks out the most or the one that gives me a convenient place. Um, now the blue actually springs out first, um, but I'm quite liking this red for the main reason that I can pop a piece of paper there this is why i cut squares because none of this area here contains the reds so i can now put my think my hand there and it won't stick to the canvas um if i start there with no backing paper can you see that my hand's sticking so i'm actually going to work on the reds and then as i do so it will create a bit of a barrier for me um, so I'm going to start on these. E I'm going to call them equal signs. I tried to give my symbols nicknames, um, which is just my weird way of doing things. So got me drills in the tray and I'm going to give it a shake. Now, mine never looks as pretty as everyone else's, um, but I, I'm not worried by that. I just get it so that most of them are the way around that I want to work. And now that I've introduced it, I can now use my pick-me-up, can't I? Which makes me very happy. So I'm just moving the camera. Because this is this long, I can't have the camera too close because, as you can see, that's all you're going to get. Um, so unfortunately, I do have to move it a little bit further across. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick the first one up. Sorry, I'm going to have to pause. I've got to change my glasses. I've got the wrong glasses on for hobbying. Sorry, I, I do apologise for that. I now wear, because I'm old, I'm now wearing very focals. But I have one that is set up for VDU use. And I have another pair that are set up for driving. And I had my driving glasses on. So I'm going to hit the corner, which by coincidence is there. And then I'm going to place the next one, not next to it, but I'm going to miss one out. Okay, I know you can't see. Let me see if I can get right. That is the best I'm going to be able to do. The colors are a bit funny, but you can see I placed the first one there and the next one there, and the next one will be placed there. Um, in actual fact, the next one along is actually a different color, so I would miss that one out anyway. Um, but because I've already laid a drill down next to it. I, I'm kind of aiming for just to slightly overlap the drill and then I can I can use that drill as a guide. Um, but once I've that's all I can do on that line. So now what I'm looking at doing is placing the next one, one up and one across um, to make a checker pattern. There you go. I think that's a better angle. But that one there actually isn't the, isn't that color so we'll place this one 
there so you can see i've now got a little triangle yeah and then this actually isn't the best place to demonstrate blocks i'm afraid but we're getting there now some people work on one diagonal line and they go all the way up and then they do the next line um I tend to work in straight lines, straight up and down lines, like I'll work that way, then up, then down, and but how you do it is fine. So and what I like about this method is although you're not fully covering it you are covering a lot of area a lot quicker so it feels like you're making more progress even though you've got to go back and fill the gaps in i do feel like i'm making progress very quickly um in reality it doesn't take me any it's no no quicker time um but it just it feels like it it gives you a little sense of achievement so and that's that's that bit really um so i'll move up to this block here this will be slightly better i'm really sorry that the lighting i've still got to work the lighting out um the lamp i have is actually very very good for working with but not so good for broadcasting with so Oh, got in a model. Doesn't matter if these aren't done exactly right. You're just covering some of them. Right. So that's, I did pick a really bad color, actually. Oh, can you see there that drill? It's got, it's now got blue tack on it. That's yeah. the, that's the disadvantage with the pick me up. Um, it's easy. It's easy to pick the blue tack off. You just stab it with a pen and it just pulls the blue tack off. But it does happen. That's because I probably squeezed, uh, twisted this slightly too much. So I do find myself scraping at that end. Right. So now you have a choice. You can now go in and fill those gaps in that you've left. Or you can carry on working on the next bit. And if you leave those until the end... That actually now gives you, you can see that my, my gently, my finger isn't sticking yeah. because the drills that have been laid is now protecting the sticky pad. So I will quite often go all the way through half, you know, just, just blocking it. Then I'll work on the rest and then I'll do fill that bit in the rest of it last. But I will now show you why blocking is satisfying um because now when you go into the middle there i'm going to go into there you can't really see it i'm really sorry about these camera angles and now my there we go right so i'm going to place one there now because you've got one either side above it and below it if you go in too high or if you go off center it will kind of be blocked by one that you've already placed so as you come in it will just pull it will direct it and then you will feel it's better with squares you get kind of a click yes not quite so much with rounds now this one is i've only got two sides so what i'll do is i'll place it by going in that way and you see, I don't know if you saw this one move, but I placed it slightly too high. So it gave me a kind of a visual indicator. And then we just fill in the gaps. And we're now using the drills that we've already placed as guides. And then if one of those other ones, like if this one there has been placed slightly too low, as you push this one in, it will push that one slightly up into place and this is why 
I would imagine, I certainly do, I do enjoy lots of block. Not too much because more block equals less detail. And I do like when the colors gradually change. Um, another good thing about blocking is because I'm right-handed, I have trouble laying drills from, from the left because I want to come in like this. And it's, it's not natural to hold my pen that way. Because I've now blocked it, I can now come in more straight and then I'll use those two drills that I've already laid to kind of slide it into place. So you're able to come in from all the angles that you want to that much easier. So did that make sense? Yes. And that is almost that block complete. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you about confetti for the reason being that I don't think there's really confetti. For me, I think confetti is more what it is rather than how to deal with it. Um, I, I don't think there's a technique to do confetti other than tip the, tip the drills out in the tray, place one or two, put drills back in tray and get next color out. Yeah, that's that basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, or sometimes if you have them in the containers like I have, you just stab into the pot oh, and just pick them out. I'm glad you've done, you said that. I really am glad because something that I do that I actually thought was bad technique. Um, if you've got one color, all I do is just jab my pen in there, remove the excess. If that's the wrong way round, I take it off, put it on my fingertip. And there, there, and I don't, I feel that's more than enough effort to get a single drill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not a bad technique then. It's not, no. I just think that if I was to say to people, right, if you only got one drill, just... Just stab the whole lot. There you go. That one's actually come out the right way. And that's yeah. all I do. If I've got one or two, that's how I do it. Otherwise, I'm tipping them all out. And then I'm, I'm da -da 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 -da, and then I one, two. Because you know what it's like? You, if you try to, especially if you've got these pots that are full, trying to tip just one or two out is you're not going to get one or two. You're going to get one or two hundred, aren't you? Yes. And then when you get one or two hundred, you get one or two hundred short. So yeah. I'm, I'm really happy that I'm, that's not a bad technique then. It's not, no. Oh, brilliant. But then don't we always say whatever works best for you? Correct, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's block. I'm going to do another block now. I'm going to fill all this blue in because I think blue was the better way to go anyway because it's so so prominent against the other colors and that is by coincidence everybody's favorite color oh no what is everybody's favorite color do you want me to say three ten go on then, yeah. go on, then. Three, ten. three ten yeah <laughs> um actually we've got a bit of a bumblebee effect in there now when you get um a rogue a rogue or, or 10 drills, they're the wrong colours. What do you do with them? Do you throw them or do you sit there for hours trying to find the correct pot for them? I just put them in a trash tray. Yeah, I'll just have a yeah. little tray. Just so. quickly, Mr. Camplin in. Hello, Chris. So what I'm doing is I'm doing every other drill. Oh, I missed one there. Look, I'm doing every other drill to make a checker, checker pattern. Block and checker is two words that can go, will go together. So if someone says I'm going to do a checker pattern, don't think it's a different technique from block. 
it is exactly the same it's just what they're called um it's, it's like drills and diamonds um i'm for some reason i don't like the word diamond because these aren't diamonds but they have a diamond effect which is obviously why it's called diamond painting um so i tend to use the word drills and being a hard presser i think drill is a very good word because i really drill those into the into the canvas um which is probably a bad technique um so can you see how quickly i'm covering area and i just feel i've done so much more even though i haven't yeah and straight away i can see what the color is going to be that's really good i should have shown you that right from the beginning because that is such a nicer color to block with um i i get it doesn't matter if your blocks don't match this one over there but um i'm like yeah mine has to um but i i think this hobby does appeal to the ocd in all of us doesn't it <laughs> yes <laughs> we all know um so when i said about coming in from the left and i find that awkward because you're placing your first one virtually on its own you don't have the problem of coming in from whatever angle um the other thing i want to stress is if i am faster at doing this than you are do not think you're doing it wrong or you think you're doing it badly i am much faster than my than the first time i ever did this and i suspect i'm slower than some of the guys that have been doing it for years um but being a money pincher by nature i like doing it slower because it it's better value for money yeah um i did can you remember the figures i gave you with my last diamond painting it was quite an expensive one i think it was about did i say it was about 50 pounds um but the the number of hours that i put into it it actually worked out with something like a pound an hour or maybe even less. And I know um, another friend of ours, she said, well, actually, if you put it like that, it's quite a cheap hobby. Um, yeah. A beginning outlay of 50 pounds would make it sound expensive. But when you, I think that's the only drawback with, with the diamond painting. It costs you a lot to get started. You know, this, yeah. this was only £20 for four, which is, is very cheap. Um, but, you know, it's taken... I did count these. Um, this particular square there took me an hour and a half, just, over, just under an hour and a half. There was lots of colour changes. This one was a little bit quicker, um, but this whole patch down here which I've just noticed I haven't actually finished. I've missed this bit down the bottom. Um, but this whole line there took me about four hours, um, which is roughly what my estimate was going to be. So four blocks by four blocks, at roughly an hour each block, 16 hours. Um, so £18 for four paintings, that's £4.50 each, was 16 hours to complete it. I think that works out at a very reasonable cost. Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, so do you want me to block finish these blocks like I did on the red, or should I move on to a different colour? I quite like moving on to different because you see there, look, if I touch there, the finger's stuck to the painting. If I touch yeah. there, it's not. So it kind of helps protect it. So if I go up to here, you can see I'm going to get stuck. That's why I only do half the block, and then I go back to it. Right, yeah, do as, as you do. Should we do, a, should we do a different one then? Yeah. And I've got the wrong boat as well, but you see how my my um, my drills are flying all over the place. Um, and they're jumping off as well. So I will go back to my normal boat. Another good... Whoa, I just dropped my drills just there. But love minis will tell you if I'm not dropping things all over the table, it's not a good stream. 
Oh, do you know what? I did um I did a video quite a long time ago and I had um oh flux was it liquid flux and the bottle tipped over oh, and no. i tried i tried to be a professional and continue with the with the with the recording but as i'm as i'm doing you could see this liquid slowly coming in around here and i just looked at it and i thought i've got to finish this i mean i, I was i was pre-recording um, so it wasn't so bad. If it had been a live stream, it would have been a bit of a disaster. I would have had to say, oh, but then that's one of the advantages of co-host. When you have yeah. a problem, I'm giving away my secrets now, aren't I? When yeah. I have a co-host and there's a problem, I'll just hand the show over to the co-host and get my camera turned off. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm, I am sorry about picking these up. If I don't do them now, they'll... Um, they'll become a problem for me later so yeah three two one right so i've lost my three one oh there we are so this this the reason this is my preferred one is i can now bang that pretty much as hard as i want and they're out because that little lip does protect it so shall we do we've got two different greens there and another one there um but this is around there it's becoming a little bit more confetti i'll tell you what i'll do color number nine which is going to bring it all in there and that's how i would look at it is a big space of nothing there so i'll try and get some blocking on on what they've labeled as number nine which is yep. color nine two one which is actually the very same strip as the three one o's so I've just put that away for nothing. And it's giving us a different colour, which keeps it visually uh, stimulating, I think. Yeah. So, number nine. Am I still in? Yeah, I am still in shot. I, um, I tried an experiment today. This is what you've all got to look forward to, I hope. Um, I'm looking at doing reviews, but I would like to actually show me actually doing the, the diamond painting. Now, obviously, if, if the whole thing is going to take me 60 hours or something to do it, that's going to be a rather long video, isn't it? And it's, I certainly couldn't do 90 or uh, 60 hours worth of, I'm going to have to fill this in because there aren't actually as many nines as I thought. Um, this is pushing to be confetti. Um, so yeah, 60 hour video is rather long and I wouldn't have the time to take 60 hours off and do pure diamond painting. So obviously I'm going to speed it up. Um, now, obviously when you're speeding things up, you're losing frames because you're converting from 30 frames per second to 3,000 second uh, frames per second. Um, but I actually recorded myself. Also, I've got a new PC, so I'm, I'm trying out the PC. I'm pushing it to the limits and seeing what I can do on the new PC that I couldn't do on the old PC. And trust me, I can do so much more on the new PC. Um the, the, the software I use for recording is called OBS. And what you do is you record on it and then you hit the stop record button and it all goes gray while it's processing. And on the laptop to record a, um, so I was just reading a comment as I was saying, which is really bad of me. Um, so if I did a five minute recording and then I hit the stop recording button, it all grays out processing for about 30 seconds. And this morning I recorded for a whole hour and it took less than a second to process it. That's yeah. how much better my new PC is. It's not that my new PC is, is awesomely great, actually. Well, it is really, really good. But my laptop was, I think it's, I've had it for four or five years and it was two or three years old second hand when i bought it 
so it's done very very i love my laptop it, it, it owes me nothing um but it is time to retire it so um it is now very close to being retired um should i do another color no i'm gonna have to stop there because look at the time well, yeah we're over an hour yeah yeah so um right so that is blocking and you see how on on the black ones i've done nice blocks and that kind of gives me a guide for when i put the next ones in and it it, it, it might push those out when i push the next because i i think they're as straight as i can get them that one might be slightly out um but once i get the ones in between in it it will push things and it kind of arranges them a little bit confetti is there's a really good example you've got stars there and you've got one two three four five six so that, what's that a lot of confetti is it yeah so um yeah that's so when you're doing little bits and it can get a bit there's, there's a really good example that gee there's only one of them Oh, we've got some more stars down there. Oh, there's a G there as well. So on that entire square, you've got, let's be conservative and say maybe there's four Gs on the whole. Um, yeah. Which 4G is terrible because it's all 5G now, isn't it? Da -da, <laughs> did you see what I did there? <laughs> right. So let's um, change my camera to me because we're going to wrap up the show. Obviously, we like to go through the comments. So we have, I think Chris Campling is playing a little bit. I'll tell you why in a moment. So let's see if I can remember her name. Danielle Boudreau. Please tell me if I got that wrong. Boudreau. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I learn through repetition, but it takes a hell of a lot of repetition. It's just, I'm, I'm brilliant in other areas. That's how I like to phrase it. Um, so love minis we can clean tv screen with a used dryer sheet and it gets rid of static never thought of that one um mm -hmm. so queen of diamonds rosebud you don't need to tell us when you're going it's not like oh please miss can i go to the toilet um anyone who just pops in for a couple of seconds they're fine if everyone watches the whole show that's brilliant uh we love you all um you know I suspect there's people watching the show that haven't commented. Maybe you don't want to comment. Maybe you can't comment. Um, that's all fine. So yeah. Chris Campbell, hi, everyone. And then we have Chris Campbell, hi, everyone. And then he's put, how are you streaming on both channels? That's why I think he's, he's having a bit of fun. I think um, those two, hi, everyone's have come from the different channels. Um, but no that's fine um so what we're doing is we are using a program that's capable of streaming on multiple platforms um i don't quote me on the facts i think we can go right up to eight different channels at once um I believe, which yeah. is rather handy because i was planning on doing an occasional show with someone absolutely nothing to do with crafting whatsoever um, it's something completely and utterly different. Um, and obviously it was a case of, well, whose channel do we put it on? Do we make a new channel? But then if we make a new channel, we haven't, we've got zero audience to start with, um, you know, but that would maybe a better option and this, that and the other. And by being able to stream to multiple platforms, it now means we can go everyone's channel so it just it means we can reach more people um i suspect there may be people come here to watch me there's people come to watch yorkshire crafter but they're getting both of us which is great isn't it yeah i think anyway i'm not that bad am i so love minis we all get to drink when she drops yeah um <laughs> yeah um, so Chris Campling, I want to stream on Chris's and mine at the same time like you. How do you do that? Chris, drop me a message or one of the gang and I will explain it. Um, obviously, this, this we can do technical videos. Uh, Mark's Mods has done some really good videos on how he makes videos. And I plan to do that as well. 
Um, but obviously, this is obviously focusing on this particular topic. Um, so I'm quite happy. I will do a video on it um, and I will I will share with. But just drop us a message on Facebook for now. Um, so, Penny, do it like you did putting shelves up. A um, couple of years ago, I was on I was using Twitch a lot more. And what I did was I had I, I rearranged all of my room and I put all these shelves up. And what I did was I broadcast the whole thing on Twitch. Um, I put the put the computer up with the camera up on one shelf and I had it going down so you could see all the shelving I was doing. But I had jukebox on as well, so the so the audience could type in songs and it would play songs. So what I was basically doing was saying, "You choose the music, I do my room to," and then I I downloaded that footage, speeded it up, and put it onto YouTube and with the with the theme from Benny Hill, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. However. I got a copyright warning for that. I was lucky not to get a copyright strike. Um, oh. So I took that video down and edited it with a, a, a copyright-free version of something that sounded very similar to Benny Hill. And it was still funny, not as good, but it was... If anybody's watched Benny Hill and you see them all running at the end, that was me putting shelves up. And I had these shelves, and it was really good. <laughs> um so chris camling says i'm giving both of you equal watching which is the nicest thing you could possibly do oh, Chris Campling. and danielle boudreau says that we have it right i will yeah. get it wrong next week because i'll have had a week to forget about or i won't get it right next week because i'm not broadcasting next week am i we, no we're not so dave say says great show everybody thumbs up Thumbs up, yep. thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mark Smod says, you can't stream to two channels on the free version of StreamYard. Um, yeah, StreamYard has three levels of membership. You have the free version, so you get things like, I can't point over there because, Julie, Julie, can you just point above your left head like that, other side? There will be oh. an image there that says StreamYard with a picture of a duck. That's the um, um, uh, that's the key version. This one you can do a little bit more fun stuff. In fact, I'm, I'm, I mentioned the green screen, didn't I? You did. So I've got a. This is one. As I know, Dave says watching. Dave say this is just for you. This is a background that I'm going to use on a certain show. Now, obviously, there'll be a green screen behind me, so you'll see me. But because I haven't got the screen, I've got to show you with a green tray, which means I'll disappear. Dave say, this background is just for you. Look at that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we'll, we'll obviously, like, if you've got things going on in the background, maybe you're streaming from your bedroom and you don't want people to see your bed. Um, have a little screen screen behind you. I mean, this is what I've ordered from Amazon. It should have been 80 quid, but I'm making my own for about 20. Um, and yeah, I couldn't resist. I've, I've gone and bought it. So that will be coming in the next few days. Um, so yeah, it just I think it just makes the show look a little bit effortlessly better. Um, Right, so we have planned the next show, haven't we? Have we planned the next show? Yes. So, guys, next week, next weekend, not this week. I'm working this weekend. Um, now, next weekend, I'm moving house. Uh, I'm moving on the 31st. Um, my next days off from work would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It would be my long weekend. Um, so we would possibly be talking about a stream on Friday um, or Saturday. Well, Saturday won't happen, will it? Because that's your special day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, we would possibly be looking at Friday stream. However, I'm... Um, 
sorry i just got, i picked my phone up as soon as i switch it on all these messages come through and i recognize certain notifications and one of the notification was uh, you have received money because it's payday for me today um so next week i'm actually going to be away for one two three four days um i'm actually moving 160 odd miles away so i'm going down on the friday with a higher van saturday sunday we're packing everything into the van monday we're off to see some friends up north and then coming back and then we're back on tuesday morning um so we've actually set the next show for conveniently for thursday um because i'm actually on holiday for two weeks although it's not really holiday i didn't request holiday because i'm a contract worker I don't have to ask for this is one good thing about being a contract worker. I don't have to ask for holiday. I tell them when I'm not coming in. And it's 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 nice. I just went, yep, yeah, I'm not coming in first two weeks of August. And they went, okay. And um that's absolutely fine to do that. Obviously, if I said that every week, and I've got to give notice to to be convenient. Um yeah. so the next show we have purposely made for exactly two weeks from now with exactly the same start date to make it a little bit more convenient. Um, and we will perhaps try to remember to give more notice on the stream <laughs> rather than setting the show up like 32 minutes before the show starts. I might actually set it up the night before the morning. Um, so uh, a couple more comments. Dave say enjoyed the show. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, Christine say says wow, and Dave say says wow, wow face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. And Christine <laughs> say says another great show. Um, how do you feel, confidence wise, now, Mrs. Crafter? Hey. We, we, we talk a lot about nerves. And I was extremely nervous on the first show. And I'm so much more at ease now on the third show. I'm just wondering how you are. I'm, I'm getting better. Um, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of stopping and starting. You know, the conversation's not... It doesn't come easy to me. It I'm not will a, come. I'm Chemistry is, is an yeah. awkward thing. We will... I think, actually, I don't think we've interrupted each other much today. I don't think we've interrupted at all. I think we did once or twice on the first show. We'd never streamed together, so we don't really know how each other operates. Um, but what, what will happen over time is I will just know that you might want to do this, that, or the other. So I will allow that to happen, and then you will know I want to do something, so you will allow it to happen um yeah and it's that chemistry needs to be built up over time um those of you that watch the root master show um when i first did it with horlicks it was a good show i think it was good but it's so much better later because we're the chemistry and mark's mods and dave say and that has taken over the show and they have more people on the show and you know you think about it sort of five four five six people on the show absolute nightmare but they've established that chemistry um and they they work really well together and it's just something that we have to build up yeah so i'm going to get told off next time i'm in work i have a very good friend who she had suggested after stream one that an hour was too long um I took on board her comment. I personally disagree, but I said I will try to make it shorter. And show number two was exactly one minute and one second shorter. So I was able to go into work and go, da da, I made it shorter just for you. Um, but this one I think is about seven minutes longer than last week. So um, I think I won't be getting a sausage roll and a Danish pastry after this week. So, but she's an absolutely lovely lady. She knows who she is and she is wonderful in heart, spirit and whatever, everything else. Um, right. So as you opened the show, um, 
So I'm I'm getting in the swing of this now. Daniel Boo Boudro says yes, great show. I've got it wrong again now, haven't I? Thank you. Um, build with Adrian, very good show, both of you. Oh. Um, so I'm going to let you close the show. So I shall say goodbye to everyone. Thank you very much for everyone that that was watching. Um, the the viewing figures, have, I think they've gone up. So we are now actually able to. Mind you, that's that's Yorkshire Crafter because see, I've nicked her viewers. Mind you, she's nicked mine. So, um, yeah. so thank you very much, everybody. Um, hit the like button if you like it. Hit the dislike if you dislike it. But I do appreciate constructive criticism. If you don't like the show, drop. I'm not going to bite. Tell me why. Tell me how I can improve it. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell icon. All the usual stuff that everybody says. And I will see you in two weeks, and I will let Yorkshire Crafter, you also have control of the end broadcast button. Yes. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in and uh, watching this uh, live stream with those two crazies. But, yeah. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so remember, guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye.